Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to display only specific columns of our data. Column B to F shows our raw data and J to L shows only the display data. So you can notice that I have five columns here and only three columns in the display part. So when I enter new data, let's say, for a sale of microwave, which is going to be $150 and 10. It automatically shows up in the display with only those three columns. Let's see how to do this. Columns B to F show the sales data. There are five columns in this data and we want to display only three. Let's first start to display the complete data here in this section and we want to keep it dynamic so that when there's new data added, it gets automatically displayed. Let's go to IFI and type in the formula equal to filter of the array. I'm going to select more rows than the current data to keep this formula dynamic. And since we want to just display all data what we want to include is any data in the column b which is not equal to a blank that is it's not going to consider the blank rows but just provide the rows which have data in the date column and let's just close the formula here there we get all the data from this data section to the display section. Note that the formatting doesn't translate over, so you will need to format your data, but let's get to it in a bit. Now we've got all the data here, and our goal is to have only the date, appliance type, and total amount, which is column one, two, and five. So let's go to cell i5 again, and now this part represents the complete array all we need to do is filter this again so let's go to beginning of the formula and type in filter our array we are getting it using the filter command and now the magic is what columns we want to include and this is really simple in excel all you need to do is open a flower brackets and then just put ones for each column you want to display in this case, there are five columns and we want to display column one, two, and five. All we need to do is put one, comma, one, comma, zero, zero, and one, which shows that I want to display column one, column two. Zero means I don't display column three and column four. And again, I display column five. Just close your brackets and close the formula. There you are. You get the data only of those three columns in the display section. So we can change the format here, let's say to short date, and let's change the format for the amount to currency. I'm going to remove the decimals. There, we have a data section and a display section. And since it's a dynamic formula, if more data is entered, let's say we are entering for the next day, note the display section here as I enter data, it starts populating immediately. And let's say I want to do it for a microwave, which is $150 and 10 quantity, the data will automatically be displayed. Using filters to display only specific columns can be really useful for reporting. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.